do business. Here's a question for you. How many steps do you think you take on a typical day? Chances are you don't have any idea. Most people don't. But statistics indicate the average person takes 5,000 steps a day. On an annual basis, that works out to close to 350 miles of walking just around the house and the office. It's a lot of walking. And it helps to show why there is such a huge potential for people to suffer from foot problems. In fact, the number one medical query on the internet is for podiatry, which is the treatment of foot problems. So to learn just what kind of problems can exist and how they're treated, we have come to the offices of the Rawway Westfield Podiatry Group in New Jersey, where a team of three highly experienced podiatrists treat virtually every kind of ailment affecting the foot. Podiatry is the medical and surgical treatment of the foot and the ankle. Our practice is multifaceted. We treat individuals with all kinds of bone, soft tissue abnormalities, from uh, walking problems in their gait cycle, to planters' warts, which is a virus that's affected, to athletes' feet, to inflammatory problems. We treat middle-aged patients with who are the weekend warriors, athletes, and people who work 40 to 50 hours a week and we treat any type of inflammatory condition that arises from any one of those problems. And then we treat the geriatric patient, and we treat the geriatric patient to maintain their comfort during their daily routine, whether it be trimming or debriding their thick fungus toenails, whether it be trimming the corner of a callus because they're a diabetic, to, to maintain their lifestyle in the way in which they would feel, feel comfortable functioning. And we see them nine to 12 weeks, and we seem to make them comfortable and as long as they're happy, then we're happy. I've been coming here for just about 30 years. I've had foot surgery. I've had bunionectomies. I've also had calluses removed. Everything about the feet I've had. The Westfield Podiatry, Dr. Turner, Dr. Pluckin, and also Dr. Nabacco. They've been my doctors, and I've been pleased recommending them highly to anyone who has a foot problem. I find the practice here is very good. I've been pleased, that's why I'm still here for 30 years. How you been feeling? Did you get any change or is it still the same? It's still the same. Still the same. Still and the same. area that was bothering you is right in here? Yeah. Okay, we're using a four uh, card. I think we're going to increase it to a six card, which will give you a little bit of different type of uh, treatment in this area. I have an aroma on the bottom of my foot. Right. And I'm trying to do, we're trying to do this treatment to avoid surgery. That makes sense. So, so that's the, you know, the, the neuromas cause neuropathy and it's causing pain. I've treated a number of uh, patients with this and they've gotten relief. Right now we're applying suction cups to the area, to the upper part of the lower extremity and to now to the foot. And the area of chief complaint is a neuroma in this, what we call the third interspace. And we're giving her direct current right there. That's running right through that nerve. I come here with my father. He's diabetic, he has to get his nails trimmed, and on occasion he does get some ulceration for his feet. That's also treated by Dr. Plotkin and Dr. Mavaco. I've also myself been here when I had a planner's wart, which uh, Dr. Plotkin burned off with a CO2 laser. When I come here, the services are always exceptionally well done. The doctor is very competent, highly knowledgeable. He also has a very competent, uh, very caring staff. I would recommend coming here to anyone and have recommended it to people. A lot of different ailments affect the, affect the foot. Diabetes is on the rise, right? Obviously, manifest certain, certain diseased ailments manifest in the foot as well. Are there any specific areas that you specialize in here in this practice? My specialty is more so the rear footwork which is what I was trained in. And when I say rear foot, that deals with anything having to do with the ankle joint and the joint just below that, which is the subtalar joint. There are a lot of disease and conditions that afflicts those particular joints, of which I've had comprehensive training in. There's a whole host of things relegated to the rear foot and above, including the ankle, that is my ultimate specialty. I had some extreme problems due to diabetes with my feet. They were able to take one foot and completely heal it and it's, they did a wonderful job with that. In addition, they were able to get me through hyperbaric chamber treatments. Now they're working on my right foot, which has some problems, and the uh, graft that they're going to be doing is a heavy-duty graft, dermograft today, and the doctors are phenomenal with the way that they do their work. They stick with the program, 
and the plans and programs that they set, they finish. Talk to me a little bit about the role the podiatrist plays in the care of diabetics. Diabetes is one of the most common problems that we treat in our practice. The best treatment is prevention. And what we do is we educate our patients, we take care of them conservatively, we see them on a routine basis to make sure that they are taking care of themselves, that they are taking care of their medical aspect of diabetes and how it affects the foot. Diabetic neuropathy is one of the most common problems that a diabetic has. They experience tingling, burning, pain in their lower extremity because the nerves at the end of their feet and their toes are affected the most. And it feels like little nerves or little things jumping around sometimes in their extremities. And there's several different treatments that are available to us for care of the diabetic neuropathy, which includes oral medication and stimulation of the nerves. I was recommended to come to this office by another uh, podiatrist. The procedure I'm going through right now is the only one done in this office. It's for my foot. It's low circulation. It's to help circulate my foot better so I don't have pain. Actually, the procedure is very good. It has help. I'm in less pain. I have more circulation in my foot. The procedure takes 13 visits. I'm on my 11th visit now. I highly recommend the treatment. It's 25 minutes. It doesn't take long. It's great. It works for me. I highly recommend that if you're having circulation problems in your foot that you come here and have this treatment done. My foot's feeling a lot better than it was when I first started. I can actually walk without going out. <laughs> what are the most common forms of treatment you do that actually end up requiring surgery? There's a whole host of treatments. So anything having to do with any kind of muscular or tendinous injuries, okay? So that could be your Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is there's a ligament at the bottom of the foot. Anything related to muscle, uh, ligamentous injuries, bony injuries, you know, any, anything of that nature where fully equipped to, to treat. Those diabetics that have had diabetes for a significant amount of time ultimately manifests in, in ways where the bone actually literally breaks down. And after it goes through its phase where it breaks down, it coalesces back. And when it coalesces back, the bone isn't quite the same. Or the overall architecture or construct of the foot is, isn't the same. This group of patients is predisposed to ulcerations, bone fractures, you know, of which some surgery many times has to be looked at, you know, as an, as an option for them to actually be able to save the foot or for limb salvage, really. I have a problem with diabetes also. I have a, a charcoal bone in my foot, which has a tendency of shattering like it just did. And Dr. Mabako opened it up, so it came out in pieces, but he took it all out. After that, he's going to do reconstructive surgery on my foot. And there's not, you know, there's not too many doctors that really want to work on a guy, you know, 59, 60 years old. I was in the hospital for a couple of times for infections, and if he couldn't make it, he would at least call me and tell me, you know, that he couldn't make it, and just wanted to make sure, you know, I was doing okay, and let me know, you know, basically when I would get out. He was a great guy, like you know, overall, I'd recommend him to anyone. He, you know, he's absolutely wonderful. Talk to me a little bit about the specialized kind of treatments that you offer. Cold laser is used in the treatment of pain and as well as thickened mycotic nails we, we treat. We're able to eliminate the fungus and repair the nail. Laser for pain is absolutely fantastic. You know, with strains, sprains, injuries to muscles and to tendons, it responds as well as, a, as an injection would to, to the pain and discomfort and helps the healing process. Podiatry is like corn and calluses to the, to the surgical treatment of bunions and, and, and hammer toes and rear foot problems and correction of deformities in the foot, as well as fractures, healing, which is something when we first came out we weren't necessarily doing, and today we're, we're doing it all. It's wonderful. And there you are, a look inside the world of medical treatments for the foot, as carried on here at the Rawway Westfield Podiatry Group. I'm Doug Llewellyn reporting from Westfield, New Jersey. Well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.